So, I'm not Milton Erickson, but I'm, I started with Milton Erickson. And somehow, he was the kind of person who had the kind of voice that if you listen to that kind of voice, your unconscious mind knew that you will go to, into a kind of trance. So, make yourself comfortable, you do not need to write down anything now, or uh, organize your, your pencil or something, you just can <laughs> relax. <coughs> and from introducing, inviting people into trance or guided imagery, or whatever it's called, it has so many names. What I learned is uh, that people are different. Each human being has his or her own way to find an inner space where she can meditate, she is close and relaxed and distant at the same time, is open and interested but not busy with producing something. So the space in between, letting go, letting come, looking at it, remembering. And for some people, such an inner space is connected with looking into a, a fire, and the flames, maybe, and hearing some sounds of the fire, sitting together with others, coming into a, a move of listening and telling, and even being able just to be silent. For us, does it this mind be sitting at a river, looking at the stream, seeing the sun dancing on the surface because the streams are dancing. For some time, maybe consciously watching at everything, but then the attention may shift to what is important to you, to images, to moods, to feelings, to inspirations. There is always in the background something going on. There are pictures or your personal mythology in front of which you organize your professional life. There are images somewhere to which the images of <coughs> your everyday professionality can be connected to. More in a associative way. Not finding out whether it's right or wrong, just how it's coming together. <coughs> So maybe at a hot day, it's the cool rain that is starting and big drops are loudly falling on the floor, on the roof. Or it's a screaming of a bird at the shore where you are lying, hearing the waves come and go and feeling comfortable, maybe still a bit unease because of being, having been busy. It's, it's not important to be very much relaxed in order to have meaningful images. They can come at any stage. 
and presents oneself in any mood. So I will invite you into a focused story on your professional life and images behind your professional life. I don't know whether this is a focus that can touch you right now. So feel free to use whatever I invite to, to make your own story that is meaningful to you. Somehow be along, be, be around that we can move together and pick up what is helping you <coughs> and find your own way through the story. The first thing I was I will invite you to is your actual professional life. There are many stages and sceneries and we just only can address one or two so if there are several that come up to your mind find out which one is the one you want to pick up right now there's a person in this professional role it's the postman <laughs> I wonder what images he has in his background while doing his job. But he seems to be satisfied with his job. Though your professional life, maybe one scene is coming up and it's the one you choose right now for your gallery of screenshots. Just study what's on this screenshot. Not telling, not telling the story around it, not focus on the feelings or thoughts around it, but just describing the characteristics of that situation. Where is it? Who is there? What is the atmosphere? Where are you in that? Or how are you related to this situation? It's really as if it's a screenshot of a real professional life situation. And if you got some, just put it in the first frame in your gallery. And if you didn't find one, just leave it empty. Maybe later on it's finding its place there by itself. And for the second frame, and if you want to do a third frame beside my induction, you can do that certainly. I invite you to go back in your childhood or youth when you imaged about your future professional life. What have your ideas been what you're gonna to be one day? And you probably come up with a kind of label. Now, let's imagine it Imagine that you would have become this and you really would have conducted a whole life in this profession. And there is a biographical movie made out of your professional life in this profession. And this movie is presented in a special cinema over there. And one screenshot of that movie is out there in the show 
frame. What is on that? And I really mean a screenshot of a real life situation from that biographical movie. What is the stage, the frame of, the frame in which the situation is? Who is there? Where are you? How is the atmosphere there? And if, if there is any motto that somebody who looks at it would, would find to describe what he or she sees on the screenshot, just write it under the frame. Some people do not have clear ideas when they are young. So, or ideas, any idea. So it's okay to take ideas from your adult life as well. Others have different ideas in different ages. So it might be interesting to go through this procedure for two or three ideas, what I, I gonna be when I will in future. You can do this for your own if you want. <coughs> I invite you now into a next area from which images might come up. This is the milieu in which you have been brought up. For some people there are several milieus. You will choose and find a person related to professional roles, professional frameworks, a person in profession that somehow impressed you. Maybe positively or negatively, that's not important. Important is whether the image stayed with you. If you found this person, how would you call the profession of that person? And now let's repeatingly goes through the idea making a biographical movie of, of the whole lifespan of that profession, of that person. And this movie is presented in the cinema over there. And there's one screenshot. What is on it? What is the situation? Are there people? What is the perspective from which this situation is photographed? How old is the professional around that time? And if a man and a woman passing by look at this screenshot and are touched and they come to up with a motto describing what they are sensing when they look at this image. And what is this motto? If there is one, just write it below the frame in which you put this image. So up to now, 
we had probably four images specifically around professional situations. There are other worlds and other sources for images that are not directly professional, but reflect some life patterns that are also important for developing <coughs> professional life. And I invite you into two kinds of images. <coughs> to find images that reflect something for you and you can put into your gallery. So being aware that uh, focus is professional life. What kind of literature or musical piece of movie or book or newspaper or saying or song or whatever is coming to your mind. And if it's a kind of story, imagine a moving is made of this story. And this movie is played in that cinema overseer we already know. And there's one screenshot out of this movie. <coughs> out there. What is on that screenshot? A real life situation or maybe a mythological life situation. Where does it happen? Who is there? What does a perspective from which it is photographed, it's taken? What is the atmosphere? What kind of relationships between people or between things or between things and people? And again, a man and a woman pass by, look at this picture, and they give resonance by saying, Oh, there's a motto in it. And the motto is, And if you found something, put it in this frame and write the motto below the frame. And then I invite to you to a last area of images. These are your own dreams. Maybe night dreams. Maybe day dreams. Maybe fantasies while playing or driving or walking. There's a whole world of images. <coughs> and it's okay just to let one image come up to the service and be chosen intuitively. And maybe this, like a screenshot, is in the 
at the cinema outside, one situation, what is on that screenshot? A man and a woman are passing by, watch, look at this uh, screenshot, and whilst they are intuitively understanding what's on it, they say, oh, that's an example for the motto for professional life or life in all areas could be and then a sentence or a word or whatever may arise and be noted below the frame for this picture and there could be many more areas in life from which we could get images and certainly many more images but for now it's okay to have just some and you may want to step back one or two steps and remember the images you now have on your galleries being aware of what is there, look, feel, sense from the one to the other. Being in touch with the mottos, if they are written there. <coughs> and it's okay to remember these images while you know that now it's time to turn back to everyday consciousness. It's okay on some levels to stay with the mood, with the kind of attention you have been in right now, and at the same time coming back this is a seminar room in Oxford. And everybody has his or her own way to come back. And it is her own pace. be able to communicate and to share as, as far as you want to do. Okay. We are 11 now. That's not a good number. 12 would have been better <coughs> to divide up in four or into three. So how about building three groups with three people and one diet? And Intuitively choose somebody or let be found by somebody and just share the images and your reactions to the images and the others or the other person, they just listen and be aware of what comes up in them, what creates, what kind of reactions and images does this create and they just share this. But only sharing, no analyzing, nothing, no, no advice, or <laughs> just putting images beside each other. It's very associative. 
and when I structure the time for uh, dryads, oh, everybody needs five minutes to tell the images at least, and five minutes to get the reactions of the others. So this means ten minutes for each, so we will have half an hour. So we start into 